So before I did my diploma in anesthesia, well, I thought I knew, but only to find that whatever I knew was nothing. Have a shortage of a specialist. We were uh, just uh, three registered HPCSA registered uh, specialists for the entire province for the population of about 5.8 uh, million, uh, with about uh, roughly about 37 uh, hospitals in the province. Most of these hospitals are dependent on the, our tertiary hospitals where they refer the cases. So I then realized that uh, we need to extend the hand to the district and the regional uh, hospital so that we can improve the quality uh, services of our population in the, in the province with regards to, to anesthesia. I realized that we we could ask for an external grant. A discover has awarded us with the with a grant. So what we did with the with the grant, one I would say firstly the confidence that it had to our junior doctors. So our doctors gained tremendous confidence through this grant in this way that we through this grant we would organize we would have organized tutorials organized to uh, the fresher uh, courses, uh, organized trainings, and we would also do outreach, also enrich both ways. They will come in as an enrich, get their training. During the day, they see the clinical work that we do. Uh, one of the people who were interested and then we went into Bulukwani, we started doing the program and it's helping a lot. It has improved the confidence. We, it's been long since we even had a death here in, in our area. So we identify all these uh, anesthetic champions in almost all the district hospitals and regional hospitals. Before I did my diploma in anesthesia, well, I thought I knew, but only to find that whatever I knew was nothing compared to what I was supposed to do. So um, in, in Kopano Hospital, we do, we do not have a consultant in anesthesia, so it was just medical officers uh, going uh, go to your room, read, and then come and practice whatever you read. But it was not enough; it was just basics. So we even even though we used to do peace uh, and being at adults, but without any formal proper training. Our doctors. Now, I can say almost all the hospitals that are very confident. The challenge here has been that uh, as I was not yet familiar with anesthesia, so it was always uh, difficult for me to give anesthesia in uh, uh, obese uh, female patients. But as time goes on, then I started uh, improving. For the three years, we've had more than 60 diplomats passing through this uh, initiative. At first, uh, I wanted to specialize in inter internal medicine. And, and, and then, because everyone, when you're at school, you, you get exposed to internal medicine, like uh, where people specialize and do card cardiologists. Well, when you're at varsity, you don't get exposed to too much to anesthesia because it's only two weeks, when, only when you're doing your fifth year. So a lot, of, a lot of people don't get exposed to anesthesia. So you only get exposed to anesthesia only after graduating when, when you're working. Once they were confident with giving anesthesia, their morale was uplifted. They would go back to their hospitals and give back, teach other community service doctors, junior doctors, and they would give Anesthesia. With, with, with the diploma program, it helped me to, with, with a lot because there were a lot of cases that we used to transfer to tertiary institutions, especially people. Because we were not having enough knowledge and we didn't know how to assess 
some of the patients probably because of uh, our knowledge. Because uh, remember, after graduating, you don't get much exposure to anesthesia. And then, and then after, after I've enrolled with the department and then doing the diploma of anesthesia, it, it helped me a lot because now I'm able to do, do a lot of cases that I was doing compared to before I got the diploma. But when I've got the diploma, you can first uh, see the, whether, whether this patient is going to complicate on the table or not. Because when you're taught it, uh, in diploma, you're taught to uh, first examine your patient and then look at the concerns and so that when you go in, you are already prepared, you know what complication are you going to anticipate in the theater. Uh, Waterbeck district is largely rural. We don't have many specialists, and as I said, we are the only facility that can provide for specialized care. Now, we are a beneficiary of the University of Limpopo Trust project, and one of these projects has produced for us three diplomats in anesthesia. What it means is that it has supported our doctors to go and get advanced training in anesthesia. Now, the impact of that being in a district where we don't even have one specialist anesthesia is that these doctors are capacitated with the relevant skills and knowledge to be able to operate specializing cases. Most recently, one of our most successful outreach projects where we have operated over 400 patients within a week during the Waterberg Rural Health Matters Project. These doctors were frontlining in operating in, in basically giving anesthesia to very super specialized cases. I wouldn't say there were challenges per se, but as we were taught that as a medical practitioner, you're supposed to be a lifelong learner. So whatever we're doing um, in Gentress, it needed to be modified and then be more evidence-based and, and, and go with the times. Because the time you leave medical school, to the time you start practicing, some of the things change. So the program gave us a chance to advance the skills that we had. So now going back to um, the hospital, we'll be giving uh, anesthesia, uh, the patients that are the anesthesia that's uh, more evidence-based, that's more current than what we previously taught. Basically, as Tabazimbi Hospital, just about all the medical officers that were on PESA, on an annual basis back then before the program were comfortable with spinal anesthesia but not necessarily general anesthesia. General anesthesia you'd find that maybe only two or three doctors out of the rest of the team were comfortable with that. So the program actually assisted us to move from a point where if maybe you'd have 10 MOs at a time where you'd find that only one or two could do GA alone. We now uh, were at a position to actually have just about 80 to 90 percent of the medical officers independently being able to perform general anesthesia because as much as we send Dr. Mwelet and Dr. Epekwa to be exposed to this program under the leadership of Dr. Mkhari, how it assisted us to increase the saturation of those that were competent was because they came back to instill the same skills that they learned from Polokwane and George Mukari. So it wasn't a question of us sending one person to just know it all by themselves, but them coming back, we found a, a, a common ground to come up with a program where we could find them um, to be able to come and assist those that were already here. Anything, we have changed somebody's uh, career path, we have changed Say somebody in the rural community, a patient who cannot even afford to, uh, to be in a private uh, center, we've managed to change their lives uh, tremendously. So I want to thank uh, Discovery for the grant that they have uh, granted us.